All right, so here we're taking a closer look at the extruder that's found on the Creality K1. So if you just undo these two screws, you can disassemble it. But before I take this apart, I wanna point out some of the cool features that I noticed just looking around the outside of this machine. Um, you've got this really nice lever on the top for engaging or disengaging the drive gears. And also you've got five brass threaded inserts. So this should be able to be incorporated onto a bunch of different machines. This also looks like a very low cost assembly. So if you take a look at these nice shiny metal parts, these are nice chromed pieces, and I believe these are die cast aluminum or maybe some kind of other material. It's not magnetic. It, you know, put the magnet up next to it and it doesn't really want to stick to it. Um, except for there's some metal parts, that, some steel parts behind it that it's wanting to get drawn to. But anyways, we've got a stepper motor here, pretty typical stepper motor, except one interesting thing is on the back, it's some kind of glass reinforced nylon or something. This back plate isn't all metal. And uh, the bearing is sticking out the front a little bit, and I assume that's just to save space. Then if you look at this extruder, um, this whole gearbox thing, it's made out of two injection molded pieces. If you take it apart, you can see this is just essentially a gearbox housing and it's also a filament guide so that guides the filament into the extruder and out the bottom on this half of the extruder you can see we've got some nice metal drive teeth here and uh, you've got a plastic drive gear so the stepper motor drives this little gear except from the inside here in this little hole it spins that around and then that drives this gear reduction. So you've got this smaller diameter gear, which is then driving this whole extruder mechanism. So these little red fasteners are um, our shoulder bolts. I just had this fully taken apart, so I was looking at it. The nice thing about shoulder bolts is they are kind of like uh, fasteners, but they, they're kind of like regular bolts but they have a precision ground shaft built into them, which is pretty nice. It makes it so you can just use it as a one piece solution for securing a bearing. And then um, these parts, basically all of the gear reduction and extruder parts are made out of multiple complex assembly uh, manufacturing methods. So basically this piece in here, this little metal part that looks like it has kind of a matte finish, this looks like it was made by a metal injection molding or powder metallurgy process. So uh, you can see little ejector pins, tiny little ejector pins on this part, which lets you know that it was made by some kind of molding operation. And uh, then, then after that was produced, they over molded these plastic gears onto the outside. So pretty complex uh, process there. Also on these two little drive things that are, are powering the extruder. Um, you can see it's, uh, it's two materials here yet again. So one material is some kind of ferrous metal. Uh, same with this one over here, the magnet wants to stick to it. And then they over molded some plastic gears onto them. So that's a pretty cool combination of assembly uh, manufacturing processes. And if we look at this up close, we can see how concentric these little gears are. I'm curious to see if the spacing inside of that gap changes at all as the extruder is being driven. Um, if it did change, that would be kind of an issue, but I can't really tell what's going on there. Here, maybe if I close it down a little bit and then we drive this, we'll see if that gap changes size. If this was made properly, then it shouldn't change size as this is rotating. But if it does, then that could cause some issues with the extrusion. I mean, it looks good enough to me. I can't really tell. I need some precision measuring equipment to really take a good look at this. One thing to note as this is an early production unit and I hear that they're gonna be including some Loctite on these bolts in the future. One thing I noticed is when I took this apart, this little screw was pretty easy to loosen. So that might have come loose from some kind of vibration loads or whatever. Um, so that screw is a little bit loose. And if those screws back out, 
then they can kind of wobble and open up a little bit. So that could uh, interfere with the functioning of this part. So apparently they're gonna add some Loctite into these little extruders to try and fix these for the uh, big production run. I think it should be a pretty good design. Um, it needs to be tested and validated and you know make sure that everything's running properly. But it seems like a really sound design that's inexpensive to manufacture. So I'm gonna put this back together and throw it on my K1 and uh, do some more testing with it.